the graduates have had to wait patiently for, what, two years? You know, they finished the programme maybe three years ago and they had to wait patiently for the graduation and it's arrived. We had to condense two year groups together, as you know, 2020 and 2021. But actually it worked really well and, and we wanted to make sure that 2020 and 21 both had the focus and we, we were working out ways that we could still celebrate both uh, trainees of the year because they both deserve time in the spotlight. And what we're seeing is, you know, these are people who are living their lives as well as doing our training programme and it really brings to the fore the challenges that they've gone through in order to get here. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long time coming. It, with the PGI, I suppose I, I started concentrating on playing when I when I graduated from uni with my first degree. I came out of that not really knowing or feeling a bit lost I suppose. Knew I'd loved playing golf. Yeah I suppose um, it, the course gives you an insight into everything. For me it was it was I suppose the coaching and the equipment side of things that really triggered my interest and what you learn learn through the through the course sets you up to, to, I suppose, springboard off that into the into your future career. Obviously, it's been delayed, so I think that's probably made it more kind of special and sort of a bit more poignant with everything that's gone over the past few years for everybody. You know, it's, it's, it's I've wanted to get to this day, and kind of glad we've done it now and not say December last year. Um, and obviously, having everybody else here today to enjoy it is we've got our days. You know which is what we all deserve. Yeah, it's a fantastic day. Uh, we're very proud to be partners with the PGA Education Programme. Uh, Titleists have a, a history, good history with the programme and we're very proud to support it. Absolutely, it's, it's very, very important. They are the future. Uh, it's, it's great to be close to them at the, at the burgeoning start of their career uh, in the golf industry. And what the key thing for us is to do is to, um, to remain in contact with these individuals and to support them in any way that we can as a, as a proud partner, as a supplier, um, looking to support them in their future careers um, with regards to uh, whether it be at their, their pro or their, their venue or whether it indeed be further with the supplier in the industry. When you walk into here, it's just the most amazing feeling of um, achievement. Um, I certainly never thought I'd be standing uh, in front of nearly 500, 600 uh, guests speaking. But for me, it is, it is just uh, the, the, the actual pinnacle of, of a PGA professional's career. And actually, I know it will be for myself as, as PGA captain. Um, you know, the thing about life as a PGA professional, you don't really know which direction you're going to go. You're sitting here, um, you don't know where your career is going to take you, which is, I think, the, the, the amount of opportunities within the industry is incredible. So it really is an exciting day for them. And, you know, their parents and, and, and grandparents will be, will be so, so proud. When their names are called up, it'll just, it, it's quite emotional. It's an emotional day. You know what, I think it has to be, it has to be right up there. Yeah, the actual, the, the, the training programme is, is the best in the industry in the world. And as soon as you receive that, uh, that letter through the post to, to, to say that you've graduated, you know, it's a bit cliche, but the world is your oyster. You can, lead, you can go in so many different directions, so many different directions. And the whole industry has changed a lot since I qualified. So these guys and girls have gone through a programme, not only practical based of having to play and make golf clubs, but this is an academic programme. It's a Russell's Group University, one of the 24 best in, in the UK, and they've achieved a high level of academic performance. So I think this actually 
really reflects the, the sort of multi-dimensional aspect of the training programme. So I can't, you know, I can't overestimate how important this is.